The purpose of this short film is to supplement the information already given to you in the clinic regarding breast radiotherapy. We know that coming to the clinic is a daunting and anxiety provoking experience and there is a lot of information given to you. The idea behind this short film is that you can watch it in the comfort of your own home, watch it as many times as you want and it will help give you the information about coming for the planning of your radiotherapy when you actually have the radiotherapy and the side effects involved. So radiotherapy is essentially high energy x-rays targeted at the breast to kill off any residual cancer cells that could have been still there after the surgery. Okay, so you've had your main treatment which is the surgery and the radiotherapy is essentially to mop up anything that could potentially be left behind. It's given daily and for breast cancer it's given every day for 15 days in total, Monday to Friday. Some patients will receive an additional four days of treatment and that would be administered to the tumour bed. Some patients will be receiving radiotherapy to their whole breast if they've had an operation that involves removing the lump. Some patients will also have some of their lymph node regions treated, often above the collarbone or in their armpit. And some patients will receive radiotherapy to their chest wall if they've had a mastectomy. Shortly after your clinic appointment, or even on the same day, we will arrange for you to have a planning scan. This will be done using a CT machine and the images taken will be used to plan your radiotherapy treatment. We will put three stickers on your body that will act as coordinate points and show up on the scanned images. We will position you with both hands above your head. After the scan, we make very small permanent marks in the positions where the stickers were. We do this to create reference points in order to position you before each treatment session. It's natural to lie slightly differently every day and this allows us to still give you very precise treatment. It was absolutely fine having the permanent dots. I haven't got any tattoos, so I was expecting it to maybe be slightly painful, um, but I actually didn't even notice. So I have one in the middle of my chest here, which is this probably the size of the pinhead, and two the same on either side of my body as well. We will then arrange for you to come back for your treatment in two to three weeks. During this time, your consultant and the planning radiographers will be working on your individualised treatment plan. On your first day of treatment, come to the radiotherapy department and check in at the front desk. A member of our team will meet you in the waiting area and bring you through to where you can get changed into a hospital gown. In terms of what to wear, I have been wearing really loose-fitting cotton t-shirts or sweatshirts if it's slightly colder, just so that there isn't any irritation on the area where you're having the radiotherapy. The daily radiotherapy is administered by therapeutic radiographers. Just like during your planning CT, we will ask you to position both your arms above your head. Using the permanent skin markers made during planning, we will be able to position you precisely every day. We might have to spend a few minutes adjusting you and the bed in order to get you in the right position. All you need to do is try and relax as best as you can. During this process, you will hear us talking to each other and saying numbers that help us get the position right.
There are two cameras in the treatment room and an intercom. We won't be with you in the room when you're receiving the treatment, but we will be able to see and hear you at all times. We will take an X-ray using the radiotherapy machine to confirm your position before starting treatment. You will see the machine pivoting around you and will hear a buzzing noise when the machine is turned on. If at any time at all you feel you need to stop the treatment, just wave a hand and we will stop it immediately. The actual treatment lasts only three minutes and it actually feels much shorter than that. It actually felt to me about 30 seconds. Um, and the actual appointment itself will probably be about 15 minutes, give or take. Some patients will be asked to do special breathing exercises during treatment to help reduce the radiation dose to areas not requiring treatment, like the heart. This will have been explained to you during your planning CT and you will reenact this during your treatment. The side effects that I have experienced is um, I'm two weeks into my treatment, so I've had roughly 10 sessions. I'm starting to feel slightly sleepy, slightly more tired than I would normally, but nothing to worry about. And I've also had a mild skin irritation, which feels a little bit like really mild sunburn. And again, um, the hospital will tell you what best, um, how best to treat it, so moisturise. So you don't have to worry about um, looking after it, they'll tell you everything and it's been fine. When we talk about side effects for radiotherapy, we talk about things that can occur during the treatment and for a short period of time afterwards, and then long-term side effects, so things that could occur later on down the line. Okay. So during treatment, the main side effects are you might feel a bit tired, mm -hmm. and that's because you're coming every day for a period of time, mm -hmm. and the skin of your breast might um, become a bit uh, red, the skin might become a bit uncomfortable. Um, sometimes the skin can break a little bit or become quite dry. Okay? And it's cumulative, so there's more so at the end of treatment. And actually that keeps on going. So for a couple, the worst it's going to be will be a couple of weeks after finishing your treatment. You'll see one of my specialist nurses during treatment, and if needs be, afterwards. And they will tell you what products to use on your breast. But really, we want you to moisturise at least two, twice a day to keep the moisture up. Okay. For a short period afterwards, kind of up until about three months, the breast that we've treated, the skin will be a bit darker than the other side, mm -hmm. and that will fade with time. Long-term side effects. Firstly, the breast might feel a bit different on the treated side than your other breast. So it might feel less supple, a little more firm. It might be slightly smaller, occasionally it can be slightly bigger. So it might just feel a bit different, okay? The ribs that sit directly underneath your breast will get a little bit of dose. So they're ever so slightly weaker going forward. Mm -hmm. There's a small slither of lung that will receive a little bit of radiotherapy. That is unlikely to cause you any problems, but very occasionally it can cause a little bit of scarring that could lead to a cough or some shortness of breath. Your heart sits on the left side, so if you're having right-sided treatment, it's well away. If you're having left-sided treatment, we try and adopt special techniques to reduce any dose getting to the heart. But there is a very small risk going forward, so in years to come, of slightly increasing your risk of heart disease. And then lastly, there is a very small risk, so it's a rare side effect, of causing a second cancer. Okay, is there anything you want to ask me? No, that's yeah, very self-explanatory, thank no. you. We hope that you've enjoyed the short film, that it's allayed any of the fears and anxieties you possibly had and familiarised yourself with the department and the treatment you're about to have. <laughs>